Today I'm going to be going over JD and his abilities, cards, old best setups. There's two real setups for him. I'll show you both. Start off, we have his ultimate ability, which you have to mark the target, then use your ability. And you also uh, need room above the target that you're trying to strike. Also, do not want to hit targets on the move because you're going to strike where that current target, you're going to strike when you, uh, where the target was when you use your ability so if the sentinel is flying or the matriarch is dashing and you use it on them you're not going to land the strike so use it when they uh stop is the best time to use it um if it's upgraded enough and you're just trying to kill the sentinel and it's like really crazy you could use it when it's like really slowing down about to stop and uh just know if you're going to get the kill or not Passive ability, you have every six headshot drops a pill for pickup. So every six headshot you get, there will be a pill for ballistic ammo. No explosives, no grenades, no uh, explosive ammo. On the sixth enemy headshot, their body will be uh, where they died. So let's get into the cards. We have the launcher capacity, which increases boom shot, drop shot, torque bow frags and it increases the grenades on our custom gl we have the razor hail which ex causes explosive hits to cause bleeding damage this works for everything mentioned here oh, including the salvo this is uh, not going to give you more ammo on the salvo this will affect the salvo too we have the custom boom shot which is increased damage on uh, normal damage and active effects. Artillery fires additional rounds. So when we use artillery strike, we will get additional rounds. We have increased damage and increased active effects. Now this does affect your normal lancer fire, your active lancer fire, and it affects your grenade launcher. So the damage increase you will get on the grenade launcher is the first number so right now mine is increases damage 30 percent you will get the 30 percent boost on the initial hit of the gl which also stacks with this because this is going off that damage number so these two cards together these three very good i'll get into that in a minute we have kills with our artillery recharge artillery by 10 seconds um well so many seconds so when we every kill we get with our artillery, we get more time immediately back. Uh, score boost applies to your score. You get uh, more score, obviously, higher score. Artillery drops two rounds on ally marked targets. So when you're going to use your artillery strike, if everybody on your team marks a target, you will hit your artillery for the standard whatever number. And then you will drop X amount of rounds on every other target that is marked by your teammates. We have artillery stuns enemies for 7 seconds. Now this does work in conjunction with this. Um, you will stun, it's good on bosses, it will stun uh, the boss and it will stun any enemies you don't kill with your spotter support. 28% uh, damage, well, Daddy's Boy is resistance near Marcus, so if you're near Marcus, you will take less damage. That is standard damage, it doesn't specify, so that is all types of damage. We have kills near friends, drop ammo. So we can get the pill for ammo boxes when we kill near friends, both of these are pretty much beginner cards. Uh, we have the, 70, the reduced recoil and increased headshot damage which will reduce the recoil and cause more damage when we land our headshots. This allows us to reload our drop shot torque bow uh, faster. And this is the same one as the other one. Sorry, I just had to reread this one. I never used it, but um, yeah, it's for all explosive weapons. Now, on to the setups you can use. Now, I highly recommend these three cards once you have them. You should, both setups should run these three cards. Uh, this gives you, unless for some reason you don't want to use the GL, but this gives you more ammo in your GL 
it gives you the ability to have frags, and if you want to use the boom shot, pick up a, a second weapon, have a boom shot, torque, torque bow, or drop shot, you'll have increased ammo in that. But at level 4, I can hold 8 boom shots and 7 on my GL. Um, the rays are obviously explosive damage, great for upping difficulty and dealing with the uh, execution rules. And this increases the damage of our GL and our Lancer Fire, so definitely want this one in this three, co three piece combo is really beast. So here is the two that I came up with for the alternatives. You can be more active and on the fly and go with the custom boom shot. And you can replace this if you're going to be holding a drop shot or a claw for some reason. Um, and you can replace this with basically any other card of your preference. Um, Maybe this one, or uh, confirmed kill. But the other uh, setup is confirmed kill and spotter support, because this is more a a going into a set game with a team, where you know you can party where everybody got mics and you can say when you're going to use it and have five artillery strikes, potentially. If everybody does that, you can basically get another one charged right back up. So this combo right here actually is really sweet. And this is also more of a combo which you can use for spamming the GL on high level difficulties. Because you won't need the boom shot as much or a second, the extra damage on the secondary. You're already getting the extra ammo. This is just increasing the damage of the boom shot. So, this is just more on the fly if you're trying to if you're going and flying through the map a little bit more and being more aggressive versus being stationary and mo and bombing them. And the artillery fires five additional rounds. I mean, it's good. It definitely is good. But you can spam 6 7 GLs in under 10 seconds. So, I mean, the artillery is good, but you don't really need five additional rounds. Being able to hit five targets at once and have it available to do immense damage on a sentinel or boss or a warden or stump is a lot better than having uh, five additional rounds on the target you select. Now I did have this uh, currently equipped at the moment but I just got confirmed kill. I already know how all these cards work. So I actually will be going to this setup right here. To be doing high level difficulty runs. Well, it'd be uh, the confirmed kill spotter, razor, custom, and launcher capacity. Now, if I was just going to go in a game with randoms, then I would switch out and I would take the boom shot. And probably with the boom shot, I would take the five extra because I'm not really relying on them marking them and if I'm not getting the bonus off the extra kills off the mark I mean 10 to 20 seconds off it's good I don't know I'd probably either take the I'd take the either I would I'd either take the confirmed kill or I take the additional one of the two depending on the difficulty Everything else, uh, the beginner cards use um, um, before you get everything up. The extra recoil card is good uh, as a starter card. I wouldn't use these two cards. I'd even put in a score boost in the beginning just to get that up. Or the artillery fires additional rounds. And that is JD. I hope that helps.